I was basically I wanted to talk with you about and sorry about having sorry about having a camera in this kind of angle temporarily because I wanted to show you that I'm actually writing these things down to prove to you how real God is but well, let me turn this down so yeah wait a minute yeah basically it's titled meet the man that cannot blaspheme so yeah it's very loud oh man it's not that Okay, I presume this is still recording. So, as you can see, oh man, hope I haven't said anything that was wrong. Basically, as yeah, so. As you can see everything's still in the same position and I haven't adjusted anything. But yeah. So in five minutes, five minutes I will or when it come goes to five I will be trying to say this word to 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 prove to you how real God is yeah I'm saying so I want to so because some people don't believe in God at all and some people don't believe that God can God can freely control them in their will and also how the devil can control how the devil can control people in in the devil's calling or will if you like so called falsehood so let me write the words down it's basically sort of like calling out God's name in vain I'm going to prove to you that I can't actually say it myself and I've tested it before I know the Bible says you're not meant to test things test God but I'm doing it in a way that you know actually blaspheming or I'm doing it to basically sh prove to you that God is real so in actual fact I'm not blaspheming or testing God I'm proving to you the viewers that God is actually real so let me write the words down let me just move this out this garbage out of my way so about the background what we can we can see in the background behind me it's just that uh, I mean you can see right oopsie right oopsie there sorry there in the my arm sorry wrong arm this arm if I let me just move out of the way oh lost my microphone here yeah you can see I'm packing that pile of doo doo um <laughs> joking <laughs> okay um basically so let me write the word down I mean I'm going to use two words what it is it's in fact I can't even say it to be honest with you right now so time's against me here I might have to pause so let me just write it quickly um for I can't even say it man I can see in my mind but not out loud and the second words won't be long I've got time against me oh brother We put these exclamation marks there. Okay, my time started. 
So, this is the word I'm trying to say, or words, as you can see. Uh, you can see it pretty clearly. So, I'm supposed to say that word, yeah. I'm actually going to stop at 20, 5.25, 10.25, so 5 minutes I'm going to try and say these these words. Time's already starting, I'm not saying it, see. So if I say 4, um, yeah. So, so I'm supposed to say it, but can't say it. Um, For God so loved the world, He gave you His only begotten Son. Whoever shall believe in Him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. That's Bible scripture, but I still can't say the word. For my sake, for people's sake, for no, not happening. So yeah, I'll keep persevering, but it. I'm not going to say it anyway, I know for a fact because I've done things like that before and it doesn't work I've even tr I've even tried when I was a new convert, new Christian tried to swear in front of God's presence and all I was saying was uh, that was it so uh, so I mean some people that are watching now can that are not that are not Christians can easily say these words no problem within less than a minute some people have already said it by the time before I said it or tried to say it so yeah I'm even wasting time by talking about something else still you know, go to show I can't say it still trying to say it but not happening for G See what I mean? I'm showing you how real God is. And I am a Christian, a born again, spirit filled Christian. And I'm proving to you that God is actually real. Right here, right now. No joke, no mistake, no cover up, no camera trick, no audio trick. I'm actually sorry about that noise. <coughs> In fact, there is a passage in the Bible that says it, but meanwhile I'm looking, meanwhile I'm showing you this, I'm going to look it up, so bear with me. So, again, I'm wasting time, and not saying the word. <coughs> Sorry. And... I got about a minute, no, two minutes, or oh, less than two minutes left till the time runs out. Like I said, five minutes. I'm gonna try and say that word, those words, and I have not said it at all. And I've even tried, and I can't say it. Cause you can't curse the spirit of God, your own spirit. You own, when you have the holy, when you have the Holy Spirit in you, you can't curse it, cause it's not of the devil's kind you could say if you are a non-christian or non-believer in christianity but you you could you can't say it, you can't say it as a christian a born again spirit filled fi spirit filled christian it's not it's impossible basically really impossible it's, yeah so i'm going to look at the time and trying to type something out let me just finish this time and do it properly so i'm not so yeah, I got just about less than a minute.
Mm. I mean, my time is up anyway, so. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, my time's up. So you see how I can't actually, I can't actually say those words. Some, some of you viewers won't agree with what I'm doing right now. I'm presuming Christians, but I'm just here just to prove to the unbelievers that people that don't, people that don't believe in Jesus or God, just to prove to you that God is actually real and he's alive right now past present and future right in your rooms right now but you might not realize it right now but you will realize it one day in Jesus name so I could I could easily say that but that's because I'm using it for a real really good reason but not just I'm not using it just to just for the sake of it no I'm not using it to pull out air if that makes sense I'm not trying to u I'm not using it to to just I'm not, I'm not using it endlessly without without bringing it to a cause or to finish off something or to stop or do something so yeah let me pull up a scripture just just to prove to you that God God it's not the first this, this is not a new thing this has been going around since the Bible days so I'm just I just want to I just want to put up a scripture just to show you that it's actually been around for many years as old as the Bible or older, so older than probably some parts of the Bible so yeah so so I've read a bit of the scripture about the one that I found the actual scripture as well so it's I read a bit of it, but I'm gonna read it, read out the whole thing here, right now. So it's a long one, also. It's basically in Numbers 22 in the New King James Version (NKJV). Tw Numbers 22 to all the way to the very end, or to to verse. I'm gonna stop at verse 41 it's a long one but it explains everything which, which is what I've been saying I'm, I wasn't really cursing but I was ma mainly just sort of testing God or not well not testing God just proving to you that God is real but this is another way of showing showing it to you that in the Bible that you know God can prevent things gently um, from happening so let me read it but uh, it's a long one anyway so here goes it says in numbers 22 Balak sends for Balaam but also before I read this out please correct me if you think I'm wrong in what I'm doing here in the in this passage I'm reading out not what I've said earlier but just about what I have said about what, what I've compared it with the scripture but you know I don't mind any comments anyway but yeah so it says in the title is Balak, Balak sends for Balaam Balak is spelled B-A-L-A-K and sends for Balaam Balaam is spelled B-A-L-A-A-M so it says V sorry chapter 22 then the children of Israel moved and come and camped in the in the plains of Moab on the side of the Jordan across from Jericho V2 now Balak the son of Zippor, Zippor saw all that Israel had done to the Amorites Amorites V3 and Moab was exceedingly afraid of the people because they were many and Moab was sick with dread because of the children of Israel V4 so Moab said to the elders of Midian now this company will lick up everything lick up everything around us as, on, as an ox licks up the grass of the field and Balak the son of, son of Zippor 
was king of the Moabites at that time, V5, then he sent messengers to Balaam, the son of Beor of Pathor, Pathor, if you want to find out what Beor is, spe how Beor is spelled, it's spelled B-E-O-R, and it says, which, which is near the river in the land of the sons of his people to call him saying look a people has come from Egypt see they cover the face of the earth and are settling next to me v6 therefore please come at once curse this people for me for they are too mighty for me perhaps I shall be able to defeat them and and drive them out of the land for I know that he whom you bless is blessed and he whom you curse is cursed v7 v7 second third paragraph v7 so the elders of Moab and the elders of Midian departed with the div div diviners or diviners fee in their hand and they came to Balaam and spoke to him the words of Balak v8 and he said to them lodge here tonight and I will bring back word bring back word to you as the word as the Lord speaks to me so the prince of Moab stayed with Balaam V9 then God came to Balaam and said who are these men sorry then God came to Balaam and said who are these men with you V10 so Balaam said to God Balak the son of Zippor king of Moab has sent to me saying V11 look a people has come out of Egypt and they cover the face of the earth come now curse them for me perhaps I shall be able to overpower them and drive them out V12 and God said to Balaam you shall not go with them you shall not curse the people for they are blessed v13 so Balaam rose in the morning and said to the prince of Balak go back to your land for the Lord has refused to give me permission to go with you v14 and the princess, princess sorry and the prince and the prince of Moab rose and went to Balak and said Balaam refuses to come with us v15 then Balak again sent prince more numerous and more honorable than they v16 and they came to Balaam and said to him Thus said Balak, the son of Zippor, please let in, please let nothing hinder you from coming to me. V seventeen, for I will certainly honor you greatly, and I will be sorry, and I will do whatever you say to me. Therefore, please come, curse this pupil, this pupil for me. V V eighteen. Then Balaam answered and said to the servants of Balak, Though Balak were to give me his house full of silver and gold, gold I could not be sorry, I could not go beyond the word of the of the Lord my God to do less or more V nine. Now therefore please you also stay here tonight that I may know what more the Lord will say to me. V20 
and, go, and God came to Balaam at night and said to him if the man came come if the men come to call you rise and go with them but only the word which sorry but only the word which I speak to you that you shall do V twenty one Balaam rose rose in the morning saddled his donkey and went with the prince of Moab titled Balaam the donkey and the angel V22 then God's anger was aroused because he went and the angel of the Lord took his stand in the way as an adversary against him and he was riding on his donkey and his two servants were with him now the donkey saw the V23 V23 now the donkey saw the angel of the Lord standing in the way with his drawn sword in his hand and the donkey turned aside out of the way and went into the field so Balaam struck the, the donkey to turn 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 her back onto the road V24 then the angel of the Lord stood in a narrow path between the vineyards with a wall on his side and a wall on that on that side V25 and when the donkey saw the angel of of the Lord she pushed herself against the wall and crushed Balaam's foot against the wall so he struck so he struck her again as in he beat her beat the donkey v26 then the angel of the lord went for, went further and stood in a narrow path narrow plate narrow place where there was no way to turn either to the right hand or to the left v27 and when the donkey saw the angel of the lord she lay down on the ba on the balaam so balaam's anger was aroused and he struck the donkey with his staff v28 then the lord opened the mouth of the donkey and she she and she said to Balaam this is donkey speaking what have I done to you that you have struck struck me these three times v29 and Balaam said to the donkey because you have abused me abused me I wish there were a wish there were a sword in my hand for now I would kill you the thirty so the donkey said to Balaam I am not your donkey on which you have ridden ever since I became yours to this day was I ever disposed to <coughs> sorry <coughs> was I ever disposed to do this to you and he said no v31 then the Lord opened Balaam's eyes and he saw the angel of the Lord standing in the way with his his drawn sword in his hand and he bowed his he bowed his head and fell flat on his face v32 and the angel of the Lord said to him why have you struck your donkey these three times behold I have come out to stand against you because your way is perv your way is perv perver perverse before me v33 the donkey saw me and turned aside from me these three times 
if she had not turned aside from me surely I would also have killed you by now and let her and let her live B 34 and Balaam said to the angel of the Lord I have sinned for I did not know you stood in the way against me now therefore if it displeases you I will turn back B 35 then the angel of the Lord said to Balaam go with the men but only the word only the word that I speak to you that you shall speak so Balaam went with the princess the, with the prince sorry with the prince of Balak verse 36 now when Balak heard that Balaam was coming he went out to meet him at the city of city of Moab which is on the border of which is on the border at the at the Arnon the bound the boundary of the territory V thirty seven then Balak said to Balaam did I not earnestly send to you calling for you why did you not come to me am I not able to honor you V thirty eight and Balaam said to Balak look I have come to you now have I any power at all to say anything the word that God puts in my mouth that I must speak V39 so Balaam so Balaam went with Balak and they came, came to Kerjath Huzoth V40 then Balak offered oxen and sheep uh, Balak offered oxen and sheep and he sent some to Balaam and to the prince who were with him I'm going to read a, a lot more than that actually because I realize it's not com coming to the part but these are all, this is all valid this whole thing so it, it, the title is Balaam's first prophecy V41 so it was the next day that Balak took Balaam and brought him up to the high places of Baal that from there he might observe the extent of the people so let me carry on I would have stopped there but I just thought let me carry on because in fact let me read on until I get to the point bear with me please so it says in in Numbers 23 and it says then Balaam said to Balak build seven altars for me here and prepare for me here seven bulls and seven rams V2 and Balak did just as Balaam Balak did just as Balaam Balaam sorry Balaam did just as Balaam had spoken you know just trying to understand it and Balak and Balaam offered a bull and a ram on each altar V3 then Balaam said to Balak stand by your burnt offering and I will go perhaps the Lord will come to meet me and whatever he shows me I will tell you so he went to a desolate height and God met Balaam and he said to him I have prepared the seven altars and I have offered on each altar a bull and a ram V5 then the Lord put a, put a word in Balaam's mouth and said return to Balak and thus you shall speak be sick so he returned to him and there he was standing by his burnt offering he, he and all the prince of Moab and he took up his oracle and said 
Balak the king of Moab has brought me from Aram from the mountains of the east come curse Jacob for me and come denounce Israel the eight how shall I curse whom God has not cursed and how shall I denounce whom the Lord has not denounced for for from the top of the rocks I see him and from the hills I behold him therefore I therefore a people dwelling alone not reckoning itself among the nations v10 who can count the dust of Jacob our number one fourth of Israel let me die the death of the righteous and let me end let me end the be like this sorry and let me end be like this sorry let me sorry and let my end be like his v11 the ba then Balak said to Balaam what have you done to me I took you to curse my enemies and look you have blessed them uh, bountifully v12 so he answered and said must I not take heed to speak what the Lord has put in my mouth so I mean I couldn't follow that but I'm hoping you guys were and gals but you see how we can't exactly say we can't always say what we want um, when it comes to being with God being with Jesus and we can't say what we whatever we want when we're with the devil when we're so if we're serving the devil Lucifer Satan if we're serving the Freemasonry or whatever other names they have the devil the devil won't let us just say anything you know the devil because if we got if we got a spirit of if you got a spirit or a demon inside of us we can't just we can't say praise God we can't say glory be unto God as as if if somebody is has if somebody has the the devil or demon inside of them they can't say that they won't be able to say that and it's the same way with Christianity but the thing is with the devil the devil steals the devil steals, kills, and destroys, and that's anything that we we do do for ourselves or we do for others or anything that we do in this world or anything that happens in this world. But God is God replaces stuff and builds stuff, and He always brings peace. That's what God does. That's what Jesus does. But yeah. Oh yeah, it's still there. So let me just see something. I think I'm on neither curse. Wait a minute. Oh I think I'm on twelve. Bev said to me, what have you done? What have you done to me? I told you to curse me. Let me read this. Yeah, I think I'm so the an so he answered and said must I not take heed to speak that speak what the Lord has put in my mouth let me read this bit of this bit, little bit well you can find it anyway I'm reading from from numbers 23 all the way and I'm definitely going to stop stop at stop at 20 verse 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 27 so let me go back to this one I'll go back a little bit as well where it says then Balaam said to Balaam then Balak said to Balaam what have you done to me I took you to curse my enemies and look you have blessed them bountifully v12 so answer so so he answered and said must I not take heed to speak what the Lord has put in my mouth Balaam, so title Balaam's second prophecy 
v13 then Balak said to be sorry then Balak said to him please come with me to another place from which you may see them you shall see only the outer part of them and shall not see them all be sorry curse them for me from their v14 so he brought him to the him to the field of Zophim or Zohim to the top of Pisgaf Pisgaf I don't know how to pronounce that it's P-I-S-G-A-H I don't know, don't know how to pronounce it at the moment when I read for the Bible I will and built Pisaga and built seven altars and offered a bull and a ram on each altar V15 and he said to Balak stand here by your burnt offering while I meet the Lord over there V16 then the Lord met Balaam and put a word in his mouth and said go back to Balak and thus you shall speak V17 so he came to him and there he was standing by his burnt offering and and the prince of Moab were with and a, and a prince of Moab were with him and Balak said to him what has the Lord spoke and Balak said to him what has the Lord spoken this is to Balaam V18 then he took up his oracle and said rise up Balak and hear listen to me son of Zippor Zippor V19 God is not a man that he should lie nor is son not a son of man that he should repent he sorry has he said and will he not do or has he spoken and will not and will he not make it good behold I have received a command to bless he has blessed and I cannot reverse it v21 he has not observed iniquity in Jacob nor has nor has he seen wickedness in in Israel the Lord is the Lord the, the Lord his God is with is with him and the shout of a king is among them God God bring v22 God bring God brings them out of Egypt he has strengthened like he has he has strength like a wild ox v23 for there is no sorcery against Jacob nor any divin, divination divination against Israel it now must be said of Jacob and of Israel oh what, oh, what God has done v24 look a people rises like like a lioness and lifts itself up like a lion it shall not it, it, it shall not lie down until it devours the prey and drinks the blood of the slain v25 then Balak said to Balaam neither curse them at all nor nor bless them at all v26 so Balaam answered and said to Balak so Balaam answered and said to Balak did I not tell you saying all, all that the Lord speaks that I must do V sorry Balaam's V no sorry title Balaam's third prophecy which is the last one I'm going to read but I'll tell you how far it goes V27 then Balak said to Balaam please come please come I will take you to another place perhaps it will please God that you may curse them for me for me from from there v28 so Balak took Balaam to the top of Peor that overlooks the wasteland 
29 Then Balaam said to Balak, Build for me here seven altars, and prepare for me here seven bulls and seven rams. Be 30 And Balak Balak did as Balaam, sorry, and Balak did as Balaam, Balaam had said, and offered a bull and a ram of every of every altar. I just always, I just, I'll just look over this and give you maybe a snippet of it, because it goes on to. Numbers 24 Christians already know how far this goes and we're in the So yeah, this happened three times as I read it just now, but I read you out the very last part, the, the last, the last verse of Numbers 24, and I'm starting from verse 25 where it says, because before this they would they, like I said, in it, in it, um, Balaam didn't curse the, Balaam didn't curse Israel. What happened was at the end when they tried when when ba when Balaam tried to do it. This is this uh, they basically separating. It says here, it says here V25. So Balaam rose and departed and returned to his place. Re re returned to his place. Balak also went his 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 way. So yeah. Um. So basically, that that was that was just to prove to you that you know God is real, and it's no joke. We shouldn't take these things lightly. You know, you could say to me that I'm just saying this because I'm a Christian, but I mean, if I say that, then you know, at least. At least you know from reputation, from re from re from, rep from reputation of Christianity that you know genuine genuine Christians don't murder, and genuine Christians don't steal. Genuine ones. Some 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 people pretend to be Christians and they're not, and they say they, and you see them stealing. They say they're Christians, but they, and you, you say they you say they're Christians. They say they are a Christian, and but they but they steal. But the ones that steal or break, the ones that steal and break the break the Ten Commandments on a regular basis, they're the ones that are not genuine Christians. And the ones that are genuine Christians will do their best not to break break the break the commandments. And you will know them by their fruits. The Bible says that. So you can you can easily sift out genuine genuine Christians from fault from false Christians. So, you know, hope this answers answers the question that I put out there. So that's all I have to say for now in this video. So God bless. Take care and peace be with you. Bye for now. Ciao.